Hey guys, I've been making videos about this island that we're supposed to be going to in some future zombies map. We got some pretty strong clues in Shadows of Evil and also Daraizendaha. We received coordinates to Pompeii Island in the Pacific, but I wanted to know more specifically where would we be at on this island. While doing some research and putting all the clues together, everything was pointing toward these ancient mystical ruins in the city of Nan Madal. A lot of people consider this the eighth wonder of the world because it has such a mysterious past, and this mystery even in inspired H.P. Lovecraft to make these ruins of the South Pacific Island city home for his monsters. He created a short story called Call of Cthulhu, and he used these ancient ruins as the basis for his Ralia, now that's a fictional sunken city and also home to Cthulhu. In this story, he describes Ralia as a nightmare corpse city and was built in measureless eons beyond history by the vast loathsome shapes that seeped down from the dark stars. There lay Cthulhu and his hordes hidden in green slimy vaults until the end. Then it goes on to say that in his house of Rilia, dead Cthulhu waits, dreaming. So we know there's a strong influence of Cthulhu mythos in Shadows of Evil, and if you guys have been watching my videos, then you know that there are a lot of clues that are pointing toward us going to this island. And if Rilia in the Cthulhu stories is based on this real city, Nanmadal, then that's probably where we're going. Another thing that could give us some clues is this chalkboard that was deciphered on Dereisendraha. It said, Division 9 has completed resurrection of the ancient beast for your eastern front. We expect Group 935 to reciprocate the favor. Also, there was a letter that was torn up around the map that we had to put together, and whenever it was translated, it told us that Division 9 was actually on an island. Is it possible that they are on this island, Pompeii? And is it also possible that the beast that they resurrected was Cthulhu? Because in the Cthulhu mythos, yeah, he's dead, and, and this Ralia is supposedly where he's at, and if Ralia is based on Pompeii, then yeah, it kind of makes sense. And since all these clues are leading to non Madal and Pompeii, Hey, I wanted to know more about it. It's got a very creepy but fascinating history. Nan Madal is made up of about 90 artificial islands, and they were built on top of a very shallow coral reef. And there's canals between them, and it's called the Venice of the Pacific, and is also known as being the eighth wonder of the world. And these buildings are made out of giant slabs of basalt. Basalt stone is formed from lava, and it's got a large amount of crystals in it. If you've ever seen the moon up close, there's some dark patches on it, and that is actually basalt stone. So there's this very strange feature about these 90 basalt crystal like enclosed buildings with canals running through them. At night the locals say that they can see like light orbs going through them and also hearing like really weird sounds coming from them. The locals won't go near it and they actually live outside of it in like palm and bamboo huts. The culture has degenerated to the point where the natives are living very primitively, yet you have these very sophisticated buildings, but yeah, they don't want to have anything to do with them. One of the more intriguing things about Nan Madal is how this city actually got built. Some of these megalithic basalt slabs weigh up to 50 tons. The method of how they transported the materials is still a mystery. The size of the blocks were huge. Each stone could weigh, again, up to 50 tons. Nan Madal is constructed of 250 50 million tons of basalt rock. Walls were as high as 50 feet and 17 feet thick. There is no records that exist as to when Nan Madal was built, where the enormous rocks came from, how they were transported there, and for what reason it was constructed on top of a reef. And the extremely heavy basalt stone is not indigenous to that area. Nan Madal is the only ancient city ever built upon a coral reef. It is a marvel of ancient engineering so complex that no one can figure out how it was conceived. The only explanation of how it was built is a legend that talks about these two twin sorcerers from a faraway island who use black magic to fly the stones like in the air to the artificial islands and build a religious site to worship the sea. Nan Madal remains mysterious to us in part because its builders left behind no art, carvings, or any kind of writings. From all the evidence that I've seen, the easter egg hints, this is where I think we will be going in the next map. It's got a creepy enough history and just a good setting. And if I'm wrong, well, at least we all got a cool history lesson on Nan Madal. But stay tuned for the clip of the day, and we'll see you guys next video. Sorry, little midget. I don't think you can- What the frick? Who just gave me the staff of fire? Who just gave me the freaking staff of- Oh my god, you are amazing. Most people- you are freaking amazing! I'm scared. <laughs> yes!
You are freaking amazing. I love you. This is the best day of my young friggin' life. Oh, he- Oh, no way! You gave me a million points! Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, oh my god. I love this guy. Cameron, he gave me a limited points. Yeah, let's go open stuff. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Oh my god. This made my day. <laughs> oh my god, I'm crying right now. I freaking love you. Wait, can we still go down? <laughs> oh, yeah, we still can. 